Hello there. Today's video is going to be about inserting images into WordPress. Let me log in. Uh, you can add them directly by going to Media Library and upload your images there. I'm going to actually add one now. So I can do a... Uh, they've got two different uploaders. i got the regular uploader and the flash uploader. By default it comes with the flash uploader. So let me select a file and we'll go with that one and it shows a progress bar. Now once it's uploaded to it, save changes, I can edit it quite a bit. I can change the title of the image. I can do alternate text. Alternate text is good for a search engine optimization. Though I don't know if it shows up in WordPress but I'd still fill it out anyway. Uh, so we'll do a uh, Because search engines can't see images, but they can see the text associated with the images. So that's why it's good for search engine optimization. Let's do an update. I can also add a, a caption to it as well. I want it to when I go. So it'll show up later on when we look at it. Update. I can do some additional things such as uh, cropping. I can crop it, crop the photo, save it. I can uh, flip it or rotate it. I can uh, flip it one way and then the other way as well. Or undo changes or redo changes. So I'm going to cancel that. All right, so now that I've got an image in here, I'm going to add it to a post. So let me go to post and posts and I'm going to do an edit on my first post so I'm going to select somewhere here in the text we'll click there and there's this toolbar up at the top above the the text of the post so I'm going to click this left box and I can select files and I'm going to upload directly into the post Whereas before, when I added it to the to the uh, gallery, all right. So I have the same options here. I can edit the image with whatever I need. I can uh, put sample image. I can put a give it a title, alternate text. Give it a caption. Uh, I didn't type anything there. Let's try that again. Hmm, it's not letting me type. I can choose whether I want it aligned left or right or none. Let's go none and insert it into the post. And update the post. So now let's go to that post and you can see sample image is stuck there but it broke up the text It's because it put it at the end of this line so if I go back to it and click on it it shows a little toolbar there so I want to click the landscape image and I can put it to the right and update now refresh the page still doesn't look right Ah, oh, that's much better. Uh, it hangs below the post. There's all this blank space here. So actually, I can move it up a little bit because it's going to put it at the end of whichever line I specify. So I can grab it and just drag it up. And you'll see that there's a little bar right here. The cursor is blinking at the end of this line when I highlight it. And I'm just going to move it up a bit. So that it doesn't hang off the end of the post anymore. So now update and refresh. There we go. It's putting this blue uh, blue box around it. That's because it's a hyperlink to the image itself, and that's um, I think that's a function of this of this uh, template. So I can go to advanced settings and choose border equals zero, 
and update and that'll actually get rid of that blue box around it there we go there we go so uh, that's how you insert an image from the post there we go alternate text and we'll do a image caption so you can see that as well update update hmm something weirds going on with the text there I think I just messed up my uh, post So let's restore it back. Yeah, it's back to normal. All right, let's try to upload that image again from the library. Insert image from the library. It's actually this one. Put it to the right. Insert into post. You gotta remember to click this button that says insert into post. Zero. Update. And update. There we go. You can see the caption. It's supposed to alternate text. Well, there we go. Sample image. That's the alt text kicking in. When I mouse over it, it shows that little box. And uh, that shows you how to insert them from the post. Let's go to another post and do that again. Uh, edit. And insert an image from the media library. We'll use this one. Show. Let's put it to the left so you can see what that looks like. And insert update so you see it push that line of text over so I put it on the very last line of text if I want to I can grab it drag it up to wherever I want it to be And it's going to push the text to the right, which is not very good for this text. So click it and edit to the right of the text, and then advanced settings. We'll do border equals zero. Although I don't know if it was showing. Oh, I wasn't showing the. Um, the blue border, I guess it only does that when I insert it directly from the post. So I can just leave that out. No need in having code that's not required. Update. Ah, I didn't update the post. Update the post. And refresh. There we go. So it shows an image over there on the right. I um, I can upload other things such as video if I wanted to, but it'd be better just to upload your videos to YouTube in my personal opinion. I can upload music, 
Although, when you upload music to pages, it's a little annoying when you're not expecting sound. And there's this other button. I'm not really sure what it allows me to upload. But I guess it's just maybe flash files or something. But that's how you upload uh, media into a WordPress post. And hopefully you've learned something from this and you'll get to play with WordPress more for it. Thank you for watching.